Go on, admit it. I piqued your interest. The title of my TED Talk, Bringing Our Work Sexy Back. Work Sexy, where is she going with this? Some may recognize that I borrowed a phrase, Sexy Back, from Justin Timberlake. He had an epic song in 2006 that had everyone dancing, proclaiming, I'm bringing sexy back. I can't sing. Even if we didn't quite understand or agree with the lyrics, we were dancing. For my talk purposes, I ask you to suspend judgment regarding the lyrics. For the record, I'm a feminist, I'm a Christian, and I respect the dignity of every individual. I chose to be a little provocative, but I'll tie it in to work. How many of us profess that we've lost our work sexy or our work mojo at some point? Once upon a time, early in our careers, we were brimming with work sexy. But then, somewhere along the way, we lost it. I chose the word sexy not just because it's provocative, but because when we feel sexy, we feel excited, passionate, stimulated. I'm not talking about the erotic use of the word. Our mind often goes there. But sexy can mean other things as well. If you don't believe me, take out your phones right now and Google it. Does it confirm what I said? And when we feel sexy, we feel excited, we feel passionate, we feel stimulated. Usually, our work sexy is in the early days of our careers. And companies want work sexy employees to join their teams. Take a look at company ads. Seeking, excited, passionate individuals. Sound familiar? When I joined my employer, I brought my work sexy. On day one, I was excited, I was passionate, I was stimulated. And then maybe around year seven, I lost it. I'm glad we didn't have Gallup engagement Q12 studies back then. I probably wasn't highly engaged. Then maybe I got it back and then lost it again. Actually, it happened to me several times in my professional journey. I decided to be vulnerable. Brene Brown says there's power in vulnerability. So I shared it with others. I learned others was feeling the same way as well. Granted, they didn't call it back. They didn't call it losing their work sexy. Perhaps they called it feeling stuck, unfulfilled, or simply lost. It's all the same. When you have it, you know it. Others sense it. You they sense the engagement. You're enthusiastic. And when you lose it, you know it too. It's as if a part of you has died. By the end of my talk, I hope I share one simple, life-changing truth. You guessed it. Bring your work sexy back. If you've lost it, which in all seriousness is connected to discovering your why. When I first graduated from law school, when Dean Franchino called my name and it was my turn to walk across that stage to receive my Juris Doctor degree, I was on fire. I was full of passion. I was ready to change the world. And I believed I could. Once I eventually did get a job, you better believe I brought my work sexy. And then I started feeling like I was going through the motions. I lost my excitement, my passion, my stimulation. It really wasn't the job either. It felt like I lost my work sexy several times with different employees. Turns out it wasn't a one and done thing. I'd heard the expression, do what you love and it won't feel like work. For me, it kept feeling like work. And then one day, one conversation changed my life. I learned I needed to discover my why to, and design my life around it. I learned how to bring my work sexy back. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. That one conversation was with a colleague, Melissa O'Hara. Melissa worked in the leadership and development branch of our organization. One day, I was in town, and she allowed me to use her office. I looked around, and I noticed on Melissa's wall there was a certificate. 
It said Financial Development Leadership Program, and it was a picture of her and some of the early graduates. I knew Melissa didn't do this same job today. She wasn't at all in the financial area. So I was curious, what made her switch? The next day, I called to thank her for allowing me to use her office, and I asked her about her journey. I shared how I was feeling. Melissa validated my feelings. She shared I wasn't alone. Other women and men felt this way also. She once felt this way as well. In fact, she coaches women in particular to design your life. That initial conversation was reassuring. I admit, misery does love company. Now, I was excited and I wanted her to coach me design my life and we did. We did a series of pre-work and sessions. We dug deep. Could she help me bring my work sexy back? She had me create a map. She asked me a ton of questions, including what would you do if you didn't get paid? The truth is, at this point, Melissa almost lost me. Money is always an issue. It's been an issue my whole life. I grew up poor. I became a lawyer so I wouldn't be poor. I had children who I wanted to put through college. I couldn't even dare consider money not an option. Melissa quickly refocused me and we continued along the journey. Then there was that aha moment, the life changing moment where she helped me discover my why. She shared, Tina, you love to help the underdog. At that moment, Melissa helped connect the dots of my past, why I wanted to be an attorney like Thurgood Marshall. He eventually became a judge. My present, why I hate inequity and why I'll do anything to challenge it. Melissa helped me see I lost my work sexy because I wasn't living my why, but I could get it back and I didn't have to leave my job to do it. Melissa showed me it wasn't about money. It wasn't about title that made me lose it. It was about not living my why, and she showed me how to do it. From that moment on, everything changed. I knew my why, so I could live it. I could show up more authentically. To get my work sexy back, I simply needed to discover my why. If you find yourself like I do, where you've lost the excitement, the passion, consider finding a life coach, someone to help you discover your why. Your why is what makes you bring excitement, passion, stimulation to the workplace, all qualities employers need for engaged workforces. Gallup's latest research shows only 31% of employees are actively engaged. 14% are act actively disengaged. That's a huge cost and impact to, to the bottom line for any organization. It's a cost to employees individually also. What if employers could help their employees bring their sexy back? It would be a win-win on the employer and the employee. When we do return to the office, I hope you walk in with your earbuds listening to JT's song, Justin Timberlake's, I'm bringing sexy back. And I hope you're dancing in a whole new way because you have found your why. I hope I've helped you rethink what work sexy means. And I hope I've encouraged you, if you've lost it, to bring your work sexy back. Thank you.